Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Dark Cloud. I don't remember if this button was here before, but I know it's here now. And we have a map. Norun Village, the Divine Beast Cave. Matataki Village, and the Wise Owl Woods is the dungeon for that area. Matataki! I like the way this place lo looks a lot more. It's, it's much more foresty. Never really cared for the companion here too much, though. The river's dried up. Surprise. A mysterious kid with a giant hammer. Anyhow, we can already Giorama this. Basically, how this works out, there's some river here that we can't move. Like, it has to be here. The bridges and stuff are already decided. This fills up later, too. Don't, doesn't really make sense to me. But uh, the, the wise Trent person, who's basically the guardian here, like Dran was for our village, is in here. But we need to connect the water from all... Like, this area is much bigger, as you can see, from all the way over here. The areas start getting a little bit bigger, though I think some are smaller than this. The requests start getting a little crazier, too, if I remember right. But there's an infinite supply of water over here, so as we go through this, not only do we have to build up all the villagers and, like, comply with all of their wants and needs and stuff, but we also have to make sure that we complete the river. And once the river's complete, we can start talking to the Trent person. And this fills up again, too. I don't know how connecting this river fills this up, but it does it anyway. Yes, Stone, that is in fact a giant dehydrated tree. Trent, in its current state, is helpless without water. Trent is a tree fairy that controls the water element. Without water, it seems like speaking is difficult for it. Tone, you on your own must connect the river that was cut off here at Matataki Village to revive Trent. Trent will then surely aid you in your quest. This is a village which I saved with Atla. The village could be revived if the Atla can be found. The Atla are probably scattered around the Wise Owl Forest. You can enter the forest by opening Matataki's gate here. I will open the gate for you. Go and see what you can find. Listen, Tone. Make the river your priority. Connect the river to save Trent. Got it? I call it Trent because that's what my friends and people seem to call it. I always said tree ants, but I think that's just some kind of Lord of the Rings thing that they're ants instead of Trents. I don't know. I could be terribly wrong, but I like this shade of green. Thank you, Wise Owl Forest. Eight on the first floor, but see how cool this is? That L is actually the background. To get to the next floor in this dungeon, the dungeon key to get out is like a nut or a berry or something for the owl. You actually have to feed the owl to go to the next floor. That's super neat. Plants, which is why I put the plant hunter in. Yeah, these little guys. There's gonna be lots of different kinds of little goblin guys in this area. Some of them are really powerful. I got a bucket. I wonder. I'm pretty sure it's going to retaliate, but maybe I should just hit it with Jow. I'm pretty sure, also, now that, I'm, now that I'm doing this, distance is what determines her damage. So she actually needs to get right up to the thing to actually do the full 8 damage, which is another reason why I never used her. She's basically just... Red Berry. Is that the key to get out? They say some wise owls mainly eat this nut. This nut? Okay, well, it's what we needed. And we got a map of the area. The dungeons in this game are going to be relatively the same, to a certain degree, naturally. 
which is why I'm probably gonna cut out a decent bit of it. I just want to show us getting stuff. The enemies increase as we go through the zones naturally. The further, you know what? My weapon has a fire element, does it? I, doesn't it? Nope. Wind and ice. Because I'm gonna say like, I don't think holy is too useful at the moment. I wish I had some fire in it. Owl of adorability. I give you this berry. What? 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 It's gone? I thought that wasn't the key. I probably just got something really good and then... Oh, man. Oh, that's that's also... They're named after days of the week. There's thir These guys are Thursdays on the earlier floors. This is a Saturday. If I remember correctly, I... I think Mondays are actually the most powerful, which would make sense. Ancient Baron acquired. I don't know if it updates the old stores, but I know for a fact. I, in fact, that I assume, that I, I, that I at least remember, we will be able to buy these uh, Drance Feathers from the Owl Shop. I don't know if El Gaffer updates his stock as well, that would be nice. But we will definitely be able to buy these Drance Feathers. Because we saved Dran. That's what it is, the horn or pointy chestnut. That's what it was to get out. I don't remember what that berry is. I think I just threw away something really good. What a bummer. Stop hopping away from me. Oh, I do also regular water. A shiny stone. I think the shiny stone's the Wait, what is What is the shiny stone? Kululu. Wait a minute. This said to be Wise Owl's favorite. They say Wise Owl loves shiny things, but it's unlikely. Oh, they, they added multiple keys. Like, this is the one that's always the favorite, but the other two have a chance of getting you out, I guess. That's interesting. I'm glad I didn't lose anything terribly useful, I don't think. We're going to see water again. I enjoy water. Especially Tone's ability to never need to drink anything. This is what the fountains look like in this one. You can actually jump off the little diving board thing here. But as you can see, the, some of the pools are smaller than other ones. In the fourth or fifth zone, they're so tiny that they're, they're just it takes up this little spot right here. So enemies can actually just continually beat on you while you're in there. And when you're inside a fountain and you try and attack or do anything, it just says recover health and thirst here. So my attack button just displays that prompt instead of actually attacking so that you can't just sit in the, fa the, the fountain of eternal power and, and never die. And, uh, we got a sign. I'm pretty sure the, the shop is one of the first things that we get always, too, because we need it. Wednesday. I'm not locking onto them because I feel like attachment bag is full and I can't carry anymore. Like, I know that this game is a lot of the same, just with different skins, but there's just something about it that I like so much. Like, it's not got the most in-depth house building as you saw. Like, if you want to go bare bones, that village that I made where I just stuck them all in a corner and didn't even decorate it or anything, like, that was pretty much enough to satisfy the town but you can actually make it a real town. You have options, you have choices. It's like up to your own artistic direction. Atla. I got a torch. I'm scared of these. Another one, five? This weapon is getting so screwed over. I'm gonna have to put this in another one. Pow's house. We're definitely breaking this thing down. You know what else we could do? We could go do the tram levels. I haven't done that yet. We'll get we'll get lots of nice diamonds and, and, and emeralds and stuff. And then it'll be really good for leveling up our weapons. We'll empower them a lot. And then whenever we get a good weapon here, I'll just break down the sandbreaker we have and stick it in that weapon. The speed probably won't be capped out as it is now, but the damage will be way up high. And I imagine the durability from things here are pretty good too. The first of four tram oils. The tram wheels are now fully oiled. It can be used. 
to the back room. I'm not 100%, but I think it's guaranteed you get at least one kind of gem. And I don't think any are inherently better than others. Like, a diamond would make sense to be the best, but I think they just do different things. Pumped up rocking off. Ow. That actually hurt. I don't like fighting these guys, because Tone's the one that has to handle them, but once they start spinning, that happens. 55 damage. Okay, let's not be low. Okay. I'm out of bread. Are they all gonna be rocking off? Is this gonna is this gonna lower the durability of my weapon again? It's high, it's up to 41 again because I leveled it up. Funds increased a little. I'll be. I feel like we're invincible until that attack finishes. It's just good. Are we not really gonna get anything other than those? I think I might have jinxed it. An ice for elements and stuff. We're relying on these last two chests to give us something good, though. This is supposed to be like super big treasure room, isn't it? I had to use a tram oil. Oh, that's right. There was a second. Oh dear. And then I couldn't get it. I guess it doesn't matter, but I wasted a lot of weapon HP. Please be a gem. Please be a gem. Sea killer. Please be a gem. Don't tell me I used this and didn't get a gem. Sea killer. That is disappointing. Alright, let's try this again. We're in another back room. I don't have the key in the crystal. Or the map in the crystal, so I don't have it already uncovered. But so far we've gotten a wind gem. Like yeah, the element one? A pearl. That is good. All right, well, let me see what this does then. Weapon, customize. What does a pearl do for this? If this gives us speed, we won't be able to see it because we're already maxed. But that is 10 endurance, 10 thunder, and 10 undead slayer. That's 30 value which could go into one level up. The, this is why gems are really powerful. Some of them only give you five towards one stat, and I think some can even give you 15 towards one, but to less things. But like, if you look at this, undead busters and stuff, it's three. Same for like, elements, it goes up by three. So to get 10, that's 30, that's the equivalent of 10 of these. 10 of any of them. They're so good. I guess the deeper down the dungeon isn't the better the back room. Every single time it's been pumped up Rockinob, so I guess the back rooms stay the same. Maybe I should have looked up which one has the best yield or something. I mean, maybe they're all the same and it's just the enemies that change. But I don't feel like we got too terribly lucky. I remember getting gems like crazy in these. Maybe it's just because it's the first area. They'll probably be more common in other areas. Stamina drinks pump us up. Trans feather broke and disappeared. Because I've been using it like crazy. However, we got another one. And as such, I have learned nothing and will continue to use it. Some bomb nuts are pretty mediocre considering we have actual bombs. An opal. That is the kind of stuff I'd love to see. Power of Powder, also acceptable. We have four of them now. Please don't be the instant death one. Monsters are pumped up with energy. They were already pumped up with energy. Let's see if they can go, like, Ultra Instinct or whatever and actually get more powered up. If I got more, like, uh, abs, I wouldn't mind. Nope. Sandbreaker's abs are full. What did I put in this? Ah, right, Plant Hunter. Because we're going to be fighting many a plant in the next area. I love that the weapon HP goes up by, like, more than one. A Mellow Banana! I got turned around. One last rockin' off. It 
has taken extreme damage. Let this chest be the chest to end all chests. A Peridot. I'd say this last one made up for what we lost in the others. Okay. Two of the gems we're going to save until we get super good weapons. What does the Peridot do? Five to attack, which is pretty strong. It might give speed, we can't check. Ten to Holy, which is going to be great against Undead, and we will be fighting Undead. Ten to Plants and ten to Beasts. So that's ten, 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 and five. It's actually a 35 value out of that, five of which is attack. Peridot's are really good. Opals. Ten to Endurance as well, which is super awesome. Doesn't give an element. But it gives 10 to Mage Hunter and 10 to Steel Hunter. Or whatever the metal one is. Anti-metal monsters. Which are like stone monsters, but even worse. So again, pretty useful. Gonna go in the bank. Whenever we get one of the better weapons as a reward for quests and stuff, I'm gonna put these in there. Alright, I think we're gonna leave it like this then. I'm gonna leave my power-up powders in here because, oh, ooh, almost forgot to leave them. Opal can go in there, Peridot can go in there. Yeah, the first one was a pearl. I said that wrong. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna sell these ones. Anything that's just one, like if you think about it, like these are 30 to 35 each. This is actually just one. If it's not at least plus two, I'm not gonna keep it. Anyhow, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.